Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin Davis. Welcome back to the channel. I have something super cool here today. Another brushless micro came in from gearbest.com. Awesome little quad. I've been flying it around the race course. I had some gates set up uh, courtesy of Lumineer, and I'll show you those in the end of this video. We'll do a little flight test with it. But let's go over some specs real quick, and uh, I'm going to tell you some good things and some some bad things uh, for to for this review to make it useful for you. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these, and I'll also make some suggestions for setting yours up. And uh, after that, we'll do a flight test. So first things first, we have this little quad. It's so tiny compared to what we have uh, reviewed before here. I'm just gonna set this box to the side, by the way. This comes with it. Super awesome carrying case for it. I like that these come with this. Uh, this was the Chaser 88 that I reviewed earlier on the channel. And look how much much of a difference we're seeing there uh, on these two. This has a higher stack, and I like that this one's running kind of down low, and it's a lower profile quad uh, all the way around. Now this camera sticks up way up, and it has this antenna on the very top of this one that damages quite easily, so I put some hot glue over top of that to reinforce it a bit. And I put a full-size receiver on this one so I could get further out there. I'm going to recommend you do the same thing with this one if you're thinking about getting this 90 GT, uh, especially after watching some of the race footage that I was playing around with uh, flying this one. This one flies a lot like a larger quad. I'm not going to say it flies like a 5-inch quad, but if you want to do freestyle stuff, this one will actually run some pretty sweet maneuvers out in uh, the field. And when you fly up about 50 feet with it, it feels like you're 100 feet in the air with this little thing. Because you can flip it, cut the throttle, and it'll just kind of float. Uh, and you have so much hang time because it is t small, super, super small, and it really does have a lot of hang time. Uh, but for racing, it's really fast on the course, too. So MultiGP has just set up a new um, racing league for micros. Micro Brushless is probably going to get into that as well. For the last month, I've had a lot of really cool Brushless micros coming through. So this is just the beginning of some of these. Uh, there's some other brands out there that are also doing some really awesome ones. Now I'm going to bring in the scale real quick and let's just go ahead and jump right into the scale um, while I'm powering that up. Also we have that uh, SP Racing Micro F3 on here. It's a DOF and you can plug that into Betaflight. We're running Betaflight on this so that's super cool. And it comes with a little 2S. This is a 350 milliamp. You can also run a 450 on here if you wanted to. I haven't tried 3S on this yet. I don't know if it'll handle it, uh, but we have an 800 TBL camera on here too, which is really, really nice and 150 degree field of view on this little lens right here. So you don't have to tilt it that much at all. It has a nice wide angle lens. And we have that 90 millimeter uh, wheelbase on this one. The motors, by the way, the motors are pretty sweet. They're 1103s and they're 7,800 kV. Not quite as high a kV that comes on the chaser. You have 10,000 kV on these. Uh, and these were, what were these? And these were also 1103s. Just a little higher kV on these. But this one is heavier. So turn on my scale and we'll go to grams. We'll weigh the King Kong 90 GT first. And I got 49 grams right there with the receiver on there, the AC800, that's an FR Sky receiver. And now if I wanna put the battery on there, we're looking at 70 grams total takeoff weight. So under the FAA registration, that's pretty cool. Now I'll go ahead and put the Chaser 88 on there. We're looking at 75 grams with no battery. And you can run the same battery on that one as well. We have 96 grams total takeoff weight, still under the FAA requirement for registration. So no number needed on these to fly these. Now, one thing, mine came in the box. It came in the box with this little connector on here. It's kind of like a balance port style connector. And I've been switching my JSTs out and I switched this one out to this XT30. So I think you get a better power um, power rate to the motors uh, coming from the battery to the power system using these XT30s on brushless micro. If you're going to run a 1S battery on something, you wouldn't need this. You can use a JST. That's totally fine. But for this situation, 2S and 3S and up, I'm going to use this XT30. Now, on this little GT90, we have ESCs on the very bottom and they're four and one ESC so the ESCs aren't out here on the arms so it makes it kind of a nicer and neater stack inside there but it does say on their website that they're three amp BL Heli S ESCs so I don't know if these are really three amp or not but that seems kind of low I probably wouldn't definitely not try a 3S battery on this you would definitely uh, fry those 
those ESCs, I don't think they can handle it at all. Now, also another thing, they had this AC800. This is an FR Sky receiver. You can get this without a receiver on it, and you can add your own receiver. Uh, what I would like to do is put a full-size receiver on this because this one didn't seem to go that far out in the field, and I had to relocate it like this. This is just kind of a temporary thing I did, but it was originally under here, and the receiver wire uh, antenna came out like this along the side, this bottom of this arm, and it didn't go more than like 50 feet away before it dropped out of the air into fail safe so what I did was I moved it on top really quickly I didn't have to use any tools I just took a little bit of VHB and stuck on there uh, and raised my antenna off the top now I'm able to get like uh, maybe half a football football field away but you don't really have to fly that far away with these because uh, these are quite small but like I said, I'm definitely going to put like an X4R or something larger on here so I can fly quite a lot further distance with this. And what I like a lot about some of these brushless micro kits and some of the brushed kits, uh, they're starting to come with some really nice boxes. And this is nice because you can keep all your batteries and all your gear in here uh, for the specific quad and take it with you to the field. Comes a little foam pad there for the GT90 to sit on. And I can't get this one in there with this box in there with the props on, but that's the way it came uh, without the props on and it was sitting right there. So this is the first box you get in there. And this has some of your accessories here. It comes with prop guards as well. So if you want to put prop guards on this and fly it outdoors with prop guards, I would probably recommend the prop guards, uh, mainly because these props, they do break quite easily. I did had a couple crashes and I did break a couple of these. So cool thing is, is that it does come with two sets of props to start out with. Uh, these are, I believe they're two inch props on here, about the same size as these uh, 2030. These are DYS props and these don't fly quite as well as these do. Uh, these have a better performance than these. These, these DYS ones don't really have the greatest reputation online right now and on some of the forums people are complaining about these props they're quite durable but they just don't fly that well they're not that efficient now you also get this looks like a prop remover tool in here i'm not totally sure you get your channel card in here it tells you about your different um, different frequencies that you're able to get and it has a couple extra rubber bands in here uh, for the bottom in case this one breaks you can put another one on there if you need to and the cool thing is it came with enough hardware for putting all these props on and it came with an extra uh, an extra bolt there just in case you need it later if you lost one because these are quite small and in the box you also get this is your props inside here your extra props and they're labeled R and these are your left turn props the one that's not labeled so it's kind of hard to figure out which way these go on, but if you look at the very top, there's a smooth surface on the very top of this prop, and on the bottom, there's two slightly dented uh, little kind of uh, holes there. So if you look at that, you see those two little holes, you know that's the bottom of the prop. And you also get this little piece of paper that was in there, and this looks like it was a test report for the quality and the condition of this frame and this kit. So it looks like everything checked off and it's actually signed here uh, in, in pen in Chinese. So that's pretty cool. It has a little quali quality control uh, along with your quad, but this one's about $130 retail and you can get it without the receiver so you could add your own receiver on there and that's pretty cool as well. So if you fly Futaba or you know Spectrum, you can link those receivers up on this flight controller there's little ports on there for different types of receiver if you wanted to run ppm or pwm or s bus or i bus if you guys have fly sky you should be able to hook up a fly sky transmitter radio to this one too i know that's one of the cheaper radios out there that some of you guys run so without further ado you guys let's go outside and do a little flight test of this little uh 90 gt by king kong and i'll put the link down below too if you guys want to check this one out look at the specs a little closer now also as an added bonus i wanted to show you some scale uh, next to the chaser 88 and the walkera this is the walkera rodeo 110 look at the size difference now, this is quite a bit bigger quad here even at a 110 size look at that it's a huge size difference
uh, quite a bit heavier too for the Rodeo 110. I also have an example of a larger X1. This is the uh, Shuriken X1 by Hollybro. And check out the size difference there. We're running five inch props on this guy. Uh, so this is more of a full size racer quad. But look at that difference. That is so cool that these are getting so, so small. So let's go ahead and run out to the field real quick. You guys enjoy this little flight test. I had a lot of fun with this one. I think it's really cool.